Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another apartment renovation and we are renovating 13, oh goodness, is this 1312 or 1313? This is 1310 21 Sheik Street in the Fashion District of San Michuno, and we are creating an apartment that is inspired by the season of spring. I know I did a house, I think it was a tiny house like this a couple of months ago when the first day of spring actually happened, but now it actually feels like spring outside. There's flowers blooming, there's green trees. I saw my first butterfly of the season today, so I felt very inspired to go ahead and decorate an apartment for a springtime vibe. And so I really hope you will enjoy this one. It's definitely a little bit more modern in style. And I had a lot of fun with it, getting to use these green cabinets. Uh, but if you do enjoy this and you'd like to download it for yourself, it is available on the Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So the shape of the kitchen is coming together now. I am going to go back and add some more like clutter pieces and decor a little bit later, but I wanted to get the general layout of the rest of the space first. So I tucked a, a small table over in the corner by these windows. And the windows I'm using in this space are all from the industrial loft kit. I just thought they were so pretty and let in so much natural light. Uh, and that was definitely something I wanted in this space. So uh, I'm so glad that we're able to change the windows and apartments now. That's been something that for years, we all wanted to do, and we just got last year when For Rent came out. Uh, I also thought about having tile in the kitchen, and I tried so many different ones, but I didn't like it in the end, so we did end up just keeping the hardwood floors throughout the entire space. And then I'm picking out a nice rug for the living room, and it's it's pretty neutral. <laughs> this house is like neutrals, pinks, and greens, which I thought was really nice. It gives me spring vibes for sure, even though... Uh, for some reason, these are not the colors that I see in spring around me. There's a lot of purple flowers going on outside, but I feel like there's not a lot of nice purples in the game, and I'm not sure if that translates as spring to most people. Uh, but you can let me know which colors you think of when you think of the springtime and what flowers and all of that, but, uh, either way, I think this apartment came out so, so cute, and I'm really happy with it. I have a couple of other builds in the works that I'm hoping to get released this week. I am a little bit behind on videos right now. Unfortunately, there is a horrible shortage of ADHD medication, and I had finally got on it last year after being diagnosed with ADHD, and it really helps me to be able to focus, and without it, I don't know how to function. <laughs> so I've been struggling lately to get anything done, so apologies for the lack of videos and streams. I'm hoping that there's a solution to that sometime soon, uh, but in the meantime, I did get this one done. I am hoping this is live and you can see it and you can watch it, and uh, let me know if you also have that issue where uh, you can't get the medications that you're supposed to have because they're just not in stock anywhere. It's very frustrating. Uh, but anyway, I am just decorating this counter here. I get a nice bread box, which is from the Country Kitchen Kit. I think that one's really cute. And then I am back into the living room, figuring out which coffee table to use. I end up using the one from the Book Nook Kit that has all of the books underneath it. I think it is so cute. It's a nice, like, modern shape, and I love that it has storage underneath it. I really want to get a coffee table with storage. I really enjoy the one I have right now, but it is... it's glass and has no storage. But it's like that glass coffee table you think of when you think of um, like a mid-century modern table. It's one of those, and I love it, and I got it for such a good deal years ago when I found it at a thrift store for like $30. And I love it, but it has zero storage, and it looks dirty all the time because it's glass. Uh, so maybe sometime soon I will get a new coffee table. I've actually been in the, like looking for a new couch right now, because our couch is broken and has been for, oh my goodness, probably like six months now. And we've been having so much trouble getting uh, the company to fix it. It We have like a guarantee thing on it where you can have it fixed. And they've just been like ghosting us. <laughs> so I've begun looking for a new couch and they're expensive. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling at you now. <laughs> it's probably because I don't have my meds. But um, I am getting this really nice corkboard up above this computer desk, which is from Dream Home Decorator. So maybe the stem that works here or lives here is a interior designer. That's kind of a fun idea. 
And I am now heading on into the bedroom where I picked out this bed from high school years. I thought the peach and the yellow on this was so pretty and definitely felt spring-like. So just bringing that in here with a nice rug. And the bedside tables I end up using are the same ones. Uh, I used one in the living room. It's this really pretty side table from Laundry Day. This is one of my favorite side tables in the game. I definitely use it too often, but it works so well in here. It matches the wood that I have on the walls. And it's just like a nice soft wood. So enjoyed that. And then I put a couple of flower paintings up above the bed. And of course, we're going to get some decor on the bedside tables to make it look a little bit more lived in. I feel like I always use these same items from the Everyday Clutter Kit, but they are just so good. So I can't help myself. I just sneezed. That's how you know it's spring. Although I have like all year round allergies, they're definitely worse this time of year. And it's been a bit of a struggle. So happy spring, everyone that is in the Northern Hemisphere. I hope you are not dealing with allergies, but if you are, I hope you are able to get a little bit of relief. I know I'm like a Zyrtec every day <laughs> type of person, um, but yeah. Anyway, I have pretty much finished decorating the bedside tables now, and we're going to be getting a nice stand-up mirror on the left wall from the Jungle Adventure Pack. Very pretty mirror, one of my favorites in the game for sure. And then over here, I actually ended up using a vanity. I used this one from the Modern Lux kit. I just thought it would look really nice in here. It's more modern, obviously. And I liked the idea of sitting by the window in the pretty sunlight and getting ready for the day. So I did that. And I also used this wardrobe from high school years, which I know I have to have used at some point, but I almost never use. And I thought it looked really nice in here. So I was happy to use that. It's always nice when you use items you don't use as often because they almost feel new because they're not things that you ever put in your builds. And then I am getting some makeup and flowers and I believe I get a hair dryer, just like a couple of things from the bathroom clutter kit over here on the vanity just to make it feel like it's being used. And I think that's pretty much it for this room if I'm remembering correctly. And then all we have is the entryway in the bathroom. And in the bathroom, I pretty much use fixtures that I use often. So this shower tub combo from the Growing Together pack paired with the tiny living toilet and a sink from Eco Lifestyle. Or actually not Eco Lifestyle. That one is from Dream Home Decorator. And I just think it's so pretty. I love the soft tones that are throughout this entire apartment. So bringing that into the bathroom was a must. I use these same flowers that I used on the vanity here on the counter as well. And of course, getting some soap, some towels. I end up putting a frame in here that has a leaf in it that is from Tiny Living. And I just think it's nice. It looks cute, like growth of flowers and everything coming back to life and the greenery outside. It's actually really nice. I don't enjoy the warm weather, but I do enjoy seeing everything come back to life. And I was very excited this morning when I did see that butterfly. I <laughs> was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think butterflies are gorgeous. Um, but anyway, this is the entryway, the last bit of this apartment, just getting a place to hang up your keys, a mirror before you look out the, walk out the door, place for your coat, some shoes, and I believe I get a fluffy rug and a plant, and that should be it for this apartment. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please enjoy those screenshots, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.